an enchanted story all about Alice and the Cheshire Cat. As Alice was walking through the enchanted garden, she was hearing the birds singing and all the beautiful colored flowers and all the beautiful, beautiful trees and the air slightly moving. Everything was so beautiful. She couldn't believe how everything looked so perfect. And hearing the birds sing so peaceful, she just kept walking and walking and walking through the enchanted garden. And when she did so, she started noticing something pink in the distance. What could that be, she, Alice said. What could all that be? She kept closely edging closer to the color pink. And what did she see? She looked up and went, ah! Ah! Who's out there? It's me, Alice. Who is you? I'm the Cheshire Cat, can't you tell? No, I didn't know about the Cheshire Cat here in this wonderful, wonderful, magical garden. Well, I've always lived here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well, why did you wake me up? Well, I saw how beautiful everything was, and then I got scared when I saw you. Scared? I'm a pussycat. I'm super sweet, super nice. What's scary about me? I don't know. You look a little big and scary. Big? I'm not big. I'm a perfect size for a Cheshire cat. Well, I don't know what Cheshire cats look like. I'm sorry. I've never seen one before. What do you mean you've never seen one before? I can hardly believe that. I'm Cheshire the cat. Have you not heard of me? Alice thought for a minute or two and said, I know I don't think I've ever heard of you. He put a big smile on his face and said, Oh my. You've never read the story of Alice in Wonderland? I'm in that story, you know. I've read the story, but I thought that was a make-believe story. Do I look make-believe to you? Don't I look real? Uh, yes, yes, you do look real. You really do. Well, then why don't you realize that I was real? Why would you think I'm not real? Well, it was in a storybook. I didn't know that storybooks could be real. Did you never know that storybooks are always part of something real? They just make it out to be like a story to not scare little children like you. <laughs> well, you did scare me. You were right. You did scare me when I looked up and saw how big you were. Come on, Alice. You know I'm not that big. How did you know my name was Alice? I think he's put a big smile on his face. The Cheshire Cat always knows everything. Didn't you know that? No, I never heard that before. Uh, this is getting pretty spooky. Come on, my sweet little girl. What do you think? Think about what? What do you mean, what? Are we on the same conversation? I, maybe not. I don't know. I think I lost part of this conversation. The Cheshire Cat laughed and laughed and laughed. Ha 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 You're such a silly girl. Well, I, I think I need to move on now. Um, see you later, Mr. Cheshire Cat. Well, see you later too, Alice but next time be a little quieter as you're walking through the enchanted garden. Uh, 
I will try very hard next time to be quieter and not to disturb you anymore. It was nice meeting you, Cheshire Cat, Mr. Cheshire Cat, and uh, I did want to mention how beautiful everything looked. You did a great job decorating. The Cheshire Cat perked right up. Yes, I did do a great job decorating, didn't I? I really thought I did too. Uh, you really did, you really did. I couldn't believe how beautiful your area looks. You have done a great job decorating your home perfectly decorated. <gasps> oh yes, I did a wonderful job decorating, didn't I? I love to color coordinate everything. All the pinks and yellows and whites. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that you noticed what a great decorator I am. And Alice said, yes, I did notice you did a wonderful, wonderful job decorating. I couldn't believe what it looked like. It was perfectly matched, color coordinated so. Oh, you noticed color coordinated. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. They're always teasing me about being color coordinated. And I told them, of course I'm color coordinated. Everything matched perfectly. You, you're right, you're right. Everything matched perfectly. You did a great, great job. And at that, Alice says, maybe it's time for me to move on and let you back to your nap. Oh, okay. I think you woke me up now, talking about my great decorating. But go ahead, please be careful and be quieter in the enchanted garden, my sweet little Alice. And please, be quieter next time. Alice responded, yes, I'll be much quieter next time. Thank you so much for a great conversation and some great decorating ideas. I will make sure to pass them on to all my awesome friends that you have done a wonderful job color decorating your part of the Enchanted Garden. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all this enthusiasm that you are giving me about my decorating ability. Oh, I just love passing it on. I'm so glad you're going to pass it on. Don't forget to mention, everything matched perfectly, didn't it? Yes, yes, Cheshire Cat, you did an awesome job decorating. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.